Hi guys, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. I wanted to kick off my Country Club online class by showing you guys um, an awesome card created with the bundle. So I do have that coming up a little later on in the video. I've also got some swap cards I'm going to share with you at the end. Uh, but do keep in mind that my full Country Club multi-card video will be up on my channel in the next few days. All right, my online class. The class uses products from the Country Club suite. We're using the Designer Series Paper, the Clubhouse Bundle, the Argyle Folder, and the Country Club Twine. This is the only thing that's carrying over to our new catalog from this bundle of products, so keep that in mind. When you purchase these four items from me, the bundle, the paper, the folder, and the twine, I will gift you with my online class for free, plus a pre-cut card stock kit to make all of the cards when you order it by May 15th, okay? So the bundle itself is $92. You would need to fill out the form that's listed below this video. I will then send you a PayPal invoice for it. You pay me. I email you the class right away because it's ready to go. And then I will send you your pre-cut cardstock kit after the 15th when I get them all done. Or you can go to my online store, order all these products from me, shoot me an email, tell me you've done that. I will send you the class and the pre-cut cardstock kit. Keep in mind that May 15th date for the pre-cut cardstock kit. Or if that's not of interest to you, if you're a demonstrator or you already have these products, you can purchase the online class plus the pre-cut cardstock kit from me for $35 by May 15th, or just the online class for $20 and that'll be available forever. So let me kind of show you the products. The bundle is the uh, golf club dies and the clubhouse stamp set. And you can see that there are coordinating items here. We've got dies for the golfer the golf ball set up here, the flag, the golf club. We've got some banner dies for these two images here and the shield in the Happy Father's Day stamped image. We also have dies for this um, patch of grass and there's a little bit of detail in there from this die because it does emboss also. So do these golf club dies. Uh, the big golf ball definitely does some embossing and this little trio of golf balls does too. We're also using the Argyle folder in this class the twine pack, there's four different colors of twine, and then the designer series paper. Now I am running a little bit low on this paper. This is literally the only piece I have left of this pattern. So you get some fun golf flags there, and then I love this argyle print. We get the large argyle colored print, and on the back of that is little images that you can just crop out and then color them and add them to your cards. You've got this nice plaid pattern with the fun golf items on the back. We've got the cute little golf cards with some more plaid, some more colored argyle with golf bags on the back of that. And then this piece here has some nice gray argyle on one side. And then these images can either be punched out with, um, this one takes the tailored tag punch or the shield and the dies, um, these two shields and these two banners can be cropped out with the dies. So again, the bundle of products, $92 gives you the class and the pre-cut cardstock kit free by May 15th. Uh, the pre-cut cardstock kit plus the class for $35 if you're a demonstrator and already have the stuff or want to order it from yourself, or $20 for just the online class that's available forever. So now let me get the supplies uh, for the card. We'll get started with that. And remember to stay tuned at the end. I've got a few cards to share with you. And everything is listed below in the description box of how to purchase this. All right, so here are the main parts of the card. We have our garden green card base. It's eight and a half by five and a half. I have a layer of garden green that is four by five and one quarter that I will be running through the Argyle folder. I have this pattern of the designer series paper. This one measures two by four and a half. I have two pieces of cardstock here, Poppy Parade and Knight of Navy. They both measure two by two and three quarters. And then I have a layer of white that's one and three quarters by two and a half. And then I also need a scrap of Knight of Navy and some silver foil. So here's my silver foil. So I am going to head to my die cutting machine. I'm going to get myself a couple golf clubs with the silver foil. I am going to cut, uh, what am I doing here? I'm going to cut this uh, little piece that goes around the shield out of Knight of Navy. And what else am I going to cut? Oh, I'm going to emboss this with my Argyle folder. So let me do the, oh, and the last thing. In this particular pattern of the Designer Series paper, I'm going to use the shield die and I'm going to crop out that little golf cart. So let me do those things and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got everything die cut. So now I just need to kind of put this together. Um, this particular piece here, this Knight of Navy, I'm going to cut this on the diagonal. 
just for a little kind of a cool effect underneath her. So this is just a tiny trimmer that I uh, was able to get during celebration. If you signed up to be a demonstrator during celebration, you also received one of these free little trimmers. It's a handy little thing and I like to keep it right on my desk. So I've just got one of those diagonal pieces. This can be used as a scrap. So I'm gonna start by doing some stamping. So I'm gonna bring in my sentiments here. And I'm going to be using the happy birthday and then I hope the next year is full of green fairways, blue skies, and short putts with some Night of Navy ink. All right, so let's go ahead and stamp our sentiments here. I'm going to try this one first. And I'm going to kind of stamp it off to the right-hand side, but yet um, in the center. Whoops, I need a darker color under that. It just helps me see a little bit better. So I'm off to the right just a bit, and then sort of in the middle. Is that straight? We're going to try it one more time. How did we work this? Mm. All right, maybe just a little bit higher up. Okay. And then our happy birthday right above this. Oh, and I should mention the online class includes uh, eight cards plus a bonus card for a total of nine cards. And it does include um, videos for every project as well as written instructions and photos. All right, let me put this ink away so I don't dip my hands in it. So we can go ahead and uh, layer these few pieces together. So I'm going to start by adding a little bit of glue to this diagonal cut piece here. And then I will also add some to the sentiment piece. All right, then we're going to stack our piece of Poppy Parade. So there's equal distance showing on the side and the bottom. And I just think that kind of diagonal piece there is just kind of a cool, um, a cool look that you're going to get with this. We're going to add our sentiment to the center of this piece. Okay, and we're going to add our argyle. What side do I want up? I guess the other side. So we're going to add our argyle embossed layer to this also. I really like this folder. I'm glad it's carrying over. Okay. And then we have our piece of designer series paper. And the back of this paper is just all white and black images that you can color in, which is really cool. You can use watercolor pencils, markers, stamp and blends, uh, just whatever floats your boat. Okay, we add that. And then our sentiment piece is going to go right there, so we'll add a little glue to that. And so I'm lining this up so it's even on the side here, or so that it's um, straight against the edge of the card. Okay, sometimes with my terrible eyesight, I can't always tell if stuff is straight, but I think that that is. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of decorating. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach these golf clubs to the back of the shield. And I think that's really cool that you can die cut those pieces out of the designer series paper. All right. And I also like that there's two golf clubs going in opposite directions. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of scotch tape and I'm just going to attach those to the back of the shield. Whoops, did not get those very straight. Okay, then we're going to add our little, I don't know what to call this thing. I guess it's some type of foliage or something, I'm not sure. All right, so we're going to kind of figure out where we want that foliage to be. And then I'm just going to very gently add a little bit of glue right down the center piece here. There we go. And then we'll put that so that part of it goes up onto our sentiment piece. Okay. 
And then this little guy here, we're just going to bring in some mini dimensionals. I'm just going to put one in between the golf clubs there and then one on either side here. And we'll just set that right in the middle of the foliage piece like that. And then the last thing I wanted to do was kind of add some twine, but I hadn't quite figured out what I wanted to do with it yet. So I wasn't sure if I just wanted to, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to tie a knot and then I'm just going to fray the ends. And then that'll take up some of the space and we're going to, do I want to use the, well, we'll see. We'll try the poppy parade first. If I don't like it, then we'll bring in the garden green. Okay, so what I mean by fray the ends is you can see this is made up of three strands. And then each of those strands is made up of three strands. So I'm just untwisting all the strands and pulling them apart. And then those three strands, we'll just get them all to fray out. And then it just kind of takes up some more space. It doesn't seem quite as bulky. I just think it's a really cool look. All right, now I'll do this side. Okay. And then I thought you could just add it with a glue dot right down here. And then we'll trim up some of that frayed stuff because it's a little bit long. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my the knot that I just created. I'm going to press it into the glue dot. The glue dot is a little bit big, so I'm just going to fold the, what's excess, the excess glue dot to the back. And then I'm just going to add that. Whoops, this one needs to... There we go. I'm just going to add that right in the middle of the designer series paper down here at the bottom. Like that. And then again, I'll fray out these ends after I trim them off. So... Bring some scissors in here and I'm just going to trim them off just almost to the edge of the designer series paper and then you can just kind of pull them apart a little bit more just for an added little bit of fun at the bottom. So there we have that part. Now I'm going to add a layer to the center. So I've got a layer of white here that's four by five and a quarter and we're just going to add um, a little bit of interest to that. I need some garden green ink. And here's our little golf ball image here. Bring in a scrap of paper so I can sort of get this stamped at the bottom a little bit off. And that's all we're going to do with that. Now we can just add that to the inside of the card. Okay, and remember, my class has nine total cards. The class is only $20 if you don't want to buy the whole bundle or $35 if you want the class and the cardstock kit. Of course, that needs to be purchased by May 15th. And then the last thing we're gonna do is uh, stamp an envelope. Okay, and when I stamp an envelope, I just fold a piece of paper up, and then I just tuck that in so that my flap is showing. And then I think we'll just kind of randomly stamp this image all over the flap of the envelope try to do it randomly and when I do random stamping I do like to start in the middle and then work my way out I just feel like you have a better chance of more random stamping that way all right so there it is you guys the card is finished we have the whole thing the envelope and everything who wouldn't want to get that so give the video a thumbs up if you'd enjoyed it that really helps me out subscribe to my channel right down here so you can be notified when i upload new videos and um while we're here i am going to show you guys a few swap cards that i got using this bundle all right i will have a multi-card video coming out with all these cards and go into a little bit more detail but since you're staying with me to the end i thought i'd share some with you got this some of these are really fun. I love how there's that window in that one. A bunch of the die cuts on there. Pretty cool. Love the Argyle folder. And we also have some little wooden elements that you can use on the cards if you so desire. And then here's one that uses a bunch of golf clubs. So that's awesome. I have a bunch more cards to share in that video. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.